welcome to the Wild Product here. My name is Clinton Charman. Thanks for joining me once again uh, on this fine Sunday evening. Um, yeah, so before I get into the, the, the cricket, i uh, just like to ask you to like this, um, like this, first of all, like this video. Also, subscribe to the Fair Digest uh, YouTube channel as well as the fairdigest.com to get all the latest from the Fair Digest. Also, guys, hit that notification button um, to get all the latest from the Wild Protea. Um, as well as get those comments in guys, this uh, is, I'm trying to start this fan channel um, but it's difficult without, you know, the feedback from the fans so uh, let's get that going as soon as possible. So straight into things then, obviously South Africa, um, you know, losing this game by two wickets and um, so I must admit first of all that I didn't watch the first sort of two and a half hours of the game because um, where I am, where I stay in Cape Town, uh, we had load shedding for that time. So yeah, it was a bit tough. I tried to watch on my phone, but um, yeah, my network was down as well. So thanks Vodacom for that. Um, yeah, so it was a bit difficult. And then when it, when my electricity eventually came back on, we were 150, 150 odd for five. And uh, Miller, uh, Dave Miller and, and um, John John were in. And I still thought at that point, you know, 300 was on the cards. Um, you know, and looking at the way the game went, that would have probably been a winning target. I thought the run out was particularly poor on Miller's part because um, if you look at the uh, if you look at the run, um, I think John John judged it well, and I think Miller just needs to trust his partner there. Um, you know, Miller tried to make up for it by you know getting that 69, but we just fell probably. 30, 40 runs short there at the end, um, you know, I also thought, you know, uh, Andile's shot wasn't really on, you know, uh, when, then you see the tail in the coming off the uh, Buren and just knock one straight down the ground, I think that was more on from him, um, because he wasn't really getting the ball off the square, especially to the spinners, I think Andile just needed to recognise his role there and play his role, um, I must say I am a bit disappointed with um, Andile's performance with a bat uh, sort of over the last year he hasn't really contributed much and I think he's got so much more to offer in that number seven role I think he could be a future number six number five even if his batting stats keep going up um, you know every time he plays franchise cricket he sort of scores runs so it would suggest that it's purely a mental thing with him and also I remember not so long ago um, he was winning games single-handedly for us um, against New Zealand in New Zealand a couple of years ago. So um, the young man's got the talent. He's definitely one of the better performers in our early I setup. You know, sort of over the last two years or so. So I've got all faith that he will come right to the bat and and get probably a little bit higher up and learn to finish. I think that's important because had he stayed in there and we got an extra what, 20, 30, 40 runs maybe, we could have got from that partnership, um, you know, it would have been great because I think that might have, might have been the little bit that got us over the edge. Uh, having said that, you know, the start that we had with the ball wasn't great. Um, but England are always going to come, come hard like that up front. Um, and it's just how you, how you deal with that and, and the plans around that. And I thought that uh, we did well to come back and Ngidi had a really tough day in the office and I saw there was a bit of um, negativity towards him and towards Andile and towards David Miller actually um, on, on Twitter and I'm just a bit perplexed as to why that is you know people saying like oh he needs to get fit before he plays for the protest and blah 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 and I'm just like well the man needs to bowl so you know you, you can't I, I just don't understand this resting him or having him exclusively play early eyes. I think he needs to get um, overs under the belt because today it wasn't about his fitness. He was bowling in the high 130s most of the time, close to 140, uh, over 140 occasionally. Um, that's not the issue. The issue is his line and his length. And the only way you get line and length is by doing it in a game. Like you can bowl line and length all day at, at nets because you know, we can all do it. But then when it comes to the game situation and the pressures of, of, of an international match, that's where you've got to learn to do it. And I think that he just needs that, um, 
that bowling to 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 really do well. Um, so for for me, it's a tough one for Lungi. I think some time away from the from the national setup might do him well. Some good good overs under the belt in in the domestic setup might do him the world of good. And then you know we might see a different Lungi and Giri, and I hope that's the case. Um, obviously we lost. Obviously the, the series is now drawn at one one, which is a pity because I thought the sides were pretty evenly matched. Uh, you know, it's a, a it's an understrength England England side from a bowling perspective, but from a batting perspective, they've got most of the guys that won them the, the World Cup, barring obviously the 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 ginger ninja of uh, Ben Stokes, which obviously would have made a massive difference. But I just think the sides were very evenly matched, and the series was there for the taking. Um, unfortunately, now there's no more one day matches to play, so we won't get to see the full you know, um, battle as it were. Um, yeah, so just looking at some positives from today, I think Quinny and his captaincy, I think he's been, I think he's been really good. Um, you know, the way he rotated his bowlers today, always searching for something, always searching for a wicket, always thinking, you know, the way he got Joe Root out, well, the way Shams he got Joe Root out, whoever's plan it was, it worked. Because, you know, you can come to a captain with a plan and he might say, mm, you know, no, I don't think that's going to work. Or he might go, you want a leg slip? Okay, well, put him in. Let's see what happens. Bang, he gets the wicket. So that's, you know, brave captaincy. Sometimes you have to make those brave decisions because that was a brave decision because, you know, had he said no to that, that tickle would have probably gone to fine leg, maybe for four, maybe for two. And then, you know, Joe would still would have been on his way to a, a 50 and probably would have won the game easily. As it, as it was, they won it pretty easily. But we gave them a scare, and like I said, had we scored another 20, 30, 40 runs, things might have been different. So, yeah, I think there is positives. I think that, you know, we've, we've come a long way in a short space of time, especially in one-day cricket, where in the World Cup we were pretty dismal throughout, barring like the last couple of games, you know, especially the last game when I think Faf got 100. But barring that... Um, you know, I think the, the this has been a, a an improvement, improved. I, th I think improved plans, in, in improved um, mentality, improved confidence. Somehow, even though we, we in the test matches we just sort of took a battering, the the, the guys seem confident. Um, I would have loved to have seen other guys uh, play as well. Uh, Bjorn Fontaine, I would have loved to have seen Yanoman Milan play as well at the top of the order. Um, I believe that Visa Hendricks. His days might be numbered um, if he doesn't if he doesn't um, establish himself at the top of the order. Quinny, Quinny is crying out for a, a decent partner, and if Riza can be that guy, or if Yanaman can be that guy, or whoever, I see Ryan Rickleton scoring runs now in in first class cricket now as well in the One Day Cup, so that's good to see as well. He's fresh off a 90 odd and now he's got 150 odd as well so there are guys at the top of the order scoring runs Peter Milan as well just got 100 and now he got 70 today so the guys are scoring runs at the top of the order Reese's days are going to be numbered Yanaman is obviously the next man in line but I think um, Reza has the job for now and he needs to get that big score just to settle himself I think um, yeah that is just thinking now Top of the order, captaincy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So, series drawn. Um, I think it's a fair result. Teams are probably evenly matched. Um, but good to see the, the, the guys showing some fight there today and fighting all the way till the end. Uh, and big up to Lungi for having a tough day and managing to come back from that tough day. Uh, and now one other positive I just wanted to mention just quickly is uh, Luto uh, Sapamla. I thought he bowled superbly today. I, you know, since he came on the scene, I think he played the T20 game for South Africa last year. Um, and I didn't sort of know who he was. And then I sort of dug a bit deeper and been looking into his stats and stuff. He's, he's pretty, I think he's in the top 10 for the four-day series. I think he was, last season, he was in the top top two or three in the in the T20, um, in the T20 stuff. Uh, he also did well now in the Zanzi. He did pretty well when he played. Um, so I think he's one for the future. If he could just get a get a yard of pace and get those from that one thirty five mark up to that one forty five mark, I think we're in for he's he'll be a real handful for the for batsmen. 
Um, yeah, that is pretty much everything I have for you guys. So thanks again for um, for watching and, and joining. Guys, please get your comments in below. I want to know what you think of um, Quinny. Should he have the captaincy across all three formats? What do you think of Andile? Um, is he good enough for me? He, he obviously is. I think he's been one of the best performers over the last two years. Um, what do you think of, of Lungi and Gili? Should he go back and, and, and get some bowling under the belt? Um, and then also, guys, what do you think of the batting lineup? Um, and should it change? You know, should other guys come in? Um, also, guys, the T20 stuff does start, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so there will be a match reaction after that one, obviously, as well. Um, AP De Villiers obviously not in the squad. I'll have a, a closer look at that squad on the day. Um, but yeah, AP De Villiers obviously not in the squad. Um, is he going to come back? Would you like him to come back? Um, these are the questions that you know the fans want to answer as well. So if you guys could get commenting, um, that would be great. And then we can you know start to get this uh, fan channel rolling. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining me, guys. And um, I will see you again tomorrow with Clinton's Corner. Have a fantastic Sunday evening.